Lotito began performing in the 1960s and gained fame for his unusual diet, which included everything from bicycles and television sets to glass and metal. Lotito said that his extraordinarily thick stomach lining and strong digestive system allowed him to swallow these objects safely. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of video. Michel Lotito was born in France on June 15, 1950. At age of 9, he started eating this strange way. He ate metal, rubber, and glass, among other things. For his efforts, he was given the world record for the strangest diet. Because of this, the record has now been taken off the books. Lotito is most famous for eating an entire airplane, but he also liked to eat bicycles, razor blades, and other things that don't seem like they would taste good. He prepared everything for eating by breaking it up into tiny pieces with a small hammer. He swallowed the pieces whole instead of chewing them, which would kill most people. Lotito drank mineral oil and a lot of water, which worked as a lubricant to help wash it all down. He was lucky that he didn't have any major problems getting rid of his food. In a 2006 interview with Guinness World Records, Lotito said that he started getting used to pain when he was 8 years old when he started practicing sophrology. Sophrology is a mix of self-hypnosis and other relaxation techniques that can help people deal with pain. A few years later, when Lotito was 16, he found out he could eat strange things, which he quickly learned and enjoyed. When South American and Canadian TV shows asked Lotito to be a guest, they asked him if he could eat something bigger. And he told them that he could eat a bicycle, which really surprised them. Lotito not only ate strange things, but his high pain tolerance also meant that people could light matches under his fingernails and throw darts into his back. In 1980, the Madison Courier said that he was paid close to $1,000 per day. Guinness World Records recognized Lotito's first appearance on the national TV show after he consumed the bike for 15 days from March 17 to April 2, 1977. A year later, he ate more than 15 pounds or 6.8 kilograms of bicycle in 12 days, breaking his own record. He also had 100 razor blades, two plates, and a glass as side dishes. Lotito then became famous for eating a small plane, which took him a total of two years to do. Between 1978 and 1980, Lotito ate a whole Cessna 150 airplane, one piece at a time. By 1999, Lotito had eaten 18 bikes. He had also eaten 15 grocery carts, 6 chandeliers, 2 beds, a pair of skis, a computer, and a coffin, including the handles. This guy is absolutely crazy. Lotito had an unusual appetite because he had pica, which is when a person eats or wants to eat things that are not food. Pica is a psychological disorder, not a natural one. But he said that his body was was a big part of why he decided to eat metal. The strength of my teeth has been measured to be 8 tons per centimeter squared, but I also make strong juices that can melt razor blades in my mouth. My gastric juices are so strong that during an endoscopy, doctors have seen the juices attacking objects with a corrosive foam that ate the metal. It was said that his stomach and intestinal lining were so thick that he could swallow such big things without hurting himself badly. Even though he was very strong, soft foods like banana bananas and hard-boiled eggs made him sick. They gave him heartburn and upset his stomach. Gastroenterologists x-rayed Lotito's stomach and said it was unusual that he could eat 900 gram of metal every day. People have questioned whether his body was really that different from that of a normal person. His doctor said that Lotito's eating habits were more of a mental problem while he was being examined on camera for the show Wild and Weird. They can't find a good medical reason for it because biopsies and blood tests show that his body is the same as everyone else's. After almost 30 years of eating glass and metal, Lotito's body was starting to wear out. Soon after, on June 25, 2007, when he was 57 years old, Michel Lotito died of natural causes. He is buried at the St. Rock Cemetery in Grenoble which is where he grew up. It's still not clear if or how much his diet had an impact on his death. Over the years, the story of Monsieur Mainstout has been told to new generations as both a fun story and a lesson. As a performer, entertainer, and record breaker, he will always be remembered as truly unique. 